Hello there, thank you for joining me for another one of these process videos and today's prompt in my seven day challenge is lemonade and I want to paint a variety of lemonade bottles and glasses, maybe some lemons as well and uh, I've got a rough layout sorted in my head so I'm going to make a start by mixing up uh, using lemon yellow of all things so it's quite a, a bright, it's on the cooler end of the scale um very very light pigment because i again i've got this thing um i am a food illustrator <laughs> amongst other things and um, i want to do some slices of lemon in amongst there so in order to provide the the backdrop um i want it to be quite pale um i found a particular just a bottle it's not um specifically for lemonade. I just really like the shape. That the shape is slightly wrong here. I was a little bit too enthusiastic, wasn't looking at the shape. Talking about shape, it is really important to get the shape correct because it's usually one of the um, all done. one of a uh, defining characteristic of something like a lemon you know there there is a distinctive shape for lemons uh, compared to let's say uh, limes or strawberries for that matter I just want to fill that in and then I'm going to drop in larger uh, so areas of pigment um, just that little bit wider at the bottom yeah and now I'm going to go in with slightly uh, more pigment to demonstrate the edge of the bottle and also the um, the rinds I'm also actually you know I'm going to add mint leaves because it would just look a little bit too monochromatic otherwise there is standing water on this segment of uh, the sketchbook at the moment um i could wait for it to to dry out a little bit more but like many of you i'm a little bit impatient and i and i want to see how it's going to turn out <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have every faith that it's going to turn out fine. This is looking groovy already and I think I shall put another circle here to denote the um, the rind of another slice of lemon. Fantastic. I think I will add little suggestions, little minty suggestions because um, my kids often make this themselves uh, for their lunchbox in the summer. They'll, they'll just, uh, we have a massive mint bush in the garden, so um, they often take a minty water bottle to school by just grabbing bits of mint from our garden and, and giving it a wash and then shoving it in their water bottle. Uh, my son prefers cucumber to lemon uh, in his water bottle. Sorry, I, you didn't need to know that, but... <laughs> Um, you can see how it's providing um, contrast already, which I, which is something that I keep going on about. Um, so what? So I think here was going to be a glass of lemonade. Uh, I think if you watch my other video about creating um, cocktails, um, I got it a little bit. I don't want to say wrong. It was the first of my prompts i was a little bit nervous and although i created i think about five or six cocktails i i didn't quite get the um it was like a mojito or no it was gin and tonic version or something i want to spend a bit more time creating this glass of lemonade it, it's very similar well can i can i say i'm a good food illustrator is because i practice such a lot. I was actually thinking of creating another page of just gin and tonics or mojitos because I was disappointed 
with what I'd produced the other day, um, which, which is, it's by the by. Um, I don't, I got, I've gotten over it and now you see me now, I'm, I'm trying to practice another version of a drink that has, where, where the glass would have similar properties, where there's ice, there's bits of greenery and, and um, so it just gives me a chance to try again and I'm very open to doing that. I, it doesn't upset me. And in fact, I, I encourage myself to keep practicing. And I would rather have a, a loose version um, than to get tight again. Oh, I see how that could work well already. Fantastic, I'm gonna leave that there. I think here was gonna be a jug. I just really like the shape of this particular jug because it's got quite a round base. It's quite angular. My, yeah, I need to move my sketchbook up, don't I, so that you can see what I'm painting. So I'm gonna define the edges of this jug using a very, very light lemon yellow wash. This neck part is a little bit wider. So I'm just using lemon yellow. That's the spout. I probably have a little bit too much pigment on my brush. I've just washed it out. Yeah, the base of the jug is roughly about here, I think. And, oh, I need to add a handle. I don't want to introduce a, a, an odd looking color. I think I'm, go I'm gonna carry on using um, yellow and I'll, I'll think about how to add more dimension to this in, in a little bit. I think the you see, I didn't quite leave enough room here. And that's one of the perils of comp composing on the hoof like this. But um, I, can, I can remedy that. It's not a problem. That's all right. That's all right. So I'm going to work on the inside bit. And I just want you to have a quick look and see what's happening in there. I think that's gorgeous. I really love it and um, I'm definitely going to play around with that when I go back in again to add a bit more detail. So this is, um, the, I can see one slice of lemon quite clearly over there and I want to um, add the rind which is a slightly more orangey shade. I'd like to really define the edges of this jug by um, using a bit more of that orangey lemon. I don't mean to outline it. I, I'm going to just, to show that this is the edge, I'm going to introduce a suggestions of lemon slices here. Lovely, I think I'm just going to drop in a bit more lemon yellow, making a little bit Barton here up against that edge. Oh yes, very nice. And um, mustn't forget the little sprigs of minty green. Maybe one here and here. Oh no, I used the wrong green. Oh, that's going to be lovely. I'm just going to... That's still drying. So it's just collected there. I, I do like this paper, but um, it, it will buckle slightly. So don't, um, if you're using uh, Moleskine, don't, don't worry about it too much. I think what I'm going to put here is uh, a nice sliced half lemon. Going back in with the uh, lemon yellow it's more of a oval shape around here. I was thinking I should have done it in segments, but uh, there's the, I, the, I think I know a way around that. So this, this is gonna be the rind. And may, I might even put a few sprigs of uh, mint around this half lemon as well. 
maybe a bit of mint green just tucked in here underneath it there as well and in the background here I think a I've got room for a whole lemon because I'm always looking at the negative space that's left. I think I can afford to play around with this section here. I think this is too, too wet at the moment. I can introduce segments to that at, um, when it's dried out a little bit more, otherwise that the pigment is just going to spread and, and you won't get any definition. So going back to this first original sort of bottle, I think I can add a few more details. Let me move this back down. It's, you can see there's the beginnings of um, a bottle taking shape, but I, I really think I need to define the edges just a little bit more uh, and I don't I don't oh uh, I've just my, my bloody arm in that it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter it'd be fine I don't really want to be introducing and too many other shades I, I'm, I'm really happy with what's going on in here So um, I think now it's time, I am just giving that light taps and um, it is dry enough and I want to introduce the, the rinds of the lemon just to um, define it. Another slice there. I think I'm gonna have to use the negative in this bottom corner here to define the edge of the, the bottle and also give the impression of an edge to this particular slice of lemon. I want a little bit more roundness there. That's better. So I think I can introduce a few segments now. So in this one, I know I can definitely use because it's light enough, I can use the lemon yellow straight in those areas there. And that's looking really nice. I don't think I'll, I'll add all of them because I'd, I'd still want to give it that sort of impression that it, it's merging in and out of the, the, the lemonade. I think just to emphasise the bottom of that bottle, I, I'm going to just add a little bit more green there as well to just define the edge of that slice. I quite like the, the, the way it went down into that segment, so I'm going to leave that. I think I'll introduce an a impression, a suggestion of a segment here. It would help on this side of the bottle is if just give a little bit more of um, the edge of the bottle, not an outline, just to sh just to define that where it flares out at the bottom, and, and that's the base. There, I think that that gives a better idea of the shape of that bottle without outlining it. Oh, that looks really fresh, actually. I'm really pleased with that. So moving on to this glass of lemonade, I purposely left that quite white because I think what I learned from last time, and I'm now looking at this section here, and I think it, I could do with taking some of that pigment off. And what I learned from when I was trying to create the cocktail the other day was um, I, I over probably overworked it and overloaded the paper. So I, two days ago, I've learned not to, um, to do that again. That has really helped me today. And that's how I view my practice. And that's partly why I practice in a sketchbook because I don't want to be precious and I, I still want to become a better watercolorist. Yeah, I know <laughs> you, you might be thinking, oh, but you're quite good. I, I can be a little bit better. 
and I, I, I don't want to portray realistic versions of stuff. I, I, I want to just give impressions. This is very different to um, how I would approach food illustration. And this gives me the freedom to, to really explore. I think I will add one more segment just here. But what I was going to say was it, I think it could do with a little bit of green just down here, balance it and to, to give it some contrast. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Lovely. Actually, you know, there is a little bit of space here and I'm wondering whether I should add, add a slice. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. We got a segment already. Oh, that was so easy. Sometimes, I don't know about you, but um, sometimes I make things out to be much more difficult in my head. And then when I do it, it's like, oh, there we go. Sorted. I'm really pleased with that. Um, I would like to just introduce a tiny bit more color here because it's just fading in to the, the white of the page too much. And moving back on to, do I need to move my sketchbook up a tiny bit? <laughs> There's a bit of a mess here, but um, we can work with that. That can be part of the overall look of this particular page. I think this one could do with adding some segments. I think this might be my f favorite piece so far of the seven days but I, th I have to say every time I create a new one is like my my new favorite <laughs> I don't know if it's like that for you I think that needs a bit of lemon yellow happening there to give the jug better clarity and the handle, I need to define that a tiny bit better. It's, it's a good shape. I think I'm gonna define the, the edges rather than try to depict an actual uh, reflections and refractions of the glass. I think that's, that's actually fine. I might leave that. I said I was gonna, there's gonna be a slice there and a slice here, which is kind of mingled with the green of the mint. Yeah, I think there was a slice here as well. That is wet. This parts of this is wet. I do like this section here and I don't want to sort of add an outline as such. I might be able to do it by just using some lemon yellow in this section here. Oh, I think that's just right. I'm going to leave it just like that. I think um I don't I don't want to add any more to that it gives the right impression up here i think it needs a pop of yellow so pretend there's there's a lemon slice floating just there it needs a tiny bit more green mint floating there and here as well hold on i think the mint needs to be a tiny weeny bit brighter what's happening here if i squint i i can see where it could do with a little bit more definition just down in this bottom corner where the the base of the jug is i think it could do with a tiny bit more that's great that's really 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 nice just give an, a hint of a segment up here That's better, that's nice. And I could give an indication of a segment here because that area is dry. No, hold on. Um, no, when I squint, it really doesn't do very much. I'm just gonna take that off again. I'm wondering if I put a segment here, that would work out better. No, that doesn't, it just merges in. Um, right, I'm going to leave that then, you know, um, I'm going to leave that.
We've sorted out the boundaries of the glass and various jugs and, and um, bottles. So that was kind of what I was trying to experiment with in today's session. But this one, I think, could do with a, a little bit more definition. It just looks like, oh God, it looks like a bit like an egg at the moment, a hard boiled egg. Um, add a bit more to help us communicate that this is uh, a bit of sliced. It's actually too much on there. I need to take that off. That's it. And I hope if you if you've made it this far into the video that you'll see that I do make mistakes and I change my mind. Uh, I have different ideas as I go along. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to create these videos, just to give you a realistic version, not an Instagram version of how I create. I do obviously, um, part of my marketing, part of my business does include Instagram, but for the purposes of what I'm trying to convey to you, I don't think Instagram is the right platform to let you, to let you see and let you understand the, the real process, the real behind the scenes stuff. I, I just need a little bit more mint here, I think. It's a bit flat. It's a hint of a sprig here. And I really do like the way it's gone into that, the, the skin of that lemon. Maybe even a hint of green. Oh, I'm just going to be overdoing it. <laughs> think, 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 think. No, I think, I think that's it. I think that is it. So today I was really trying to explore the shapes and characteristics of these jugs and um, bottles without resorting to a physical outline where I'm just using contrast to give the impression that that is the edge of the various glass items. And overall, I think I have really enjoyed this phenomenally.